Good afternoon, church family and friends, and thank you for joining me again this Wednesday afternoon as we take a moment to read God's Word and to share together in prayer. We're continuing reading from John's Gospel, and we're reading from John chapter 6, uh, verse 63. And Jesus said this, The Spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are full of the Spirit and life. Yet there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus had known from the beginning which of them did not believe and who would betray him. He went on to say, This is why I told you that no one can come to me unless the Father has enabled them. From this time many of his disciples turned back and no longer followed him. You do not want to leave too, do you? Jesus asked the twelve. Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and to know that you are the Holy One of God. Let us pray for a moment, shall we? Father God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your word and your spirit. For your spirit and your word bring life. Give us life. Life in all its fullness. Even life eternal. And Father, in these days, sometimes we feel like we're on a roller coaster and, and some days are difficult and sometimes are hard and we, and we, Lord, we, we get a bit deflated or a bit flat. And we wonder where to go, where should we turn? And Lord, Peter reminds us that there is only one place to go. And it's to you. Because you have the words of eternal life. Father, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for his words. Words of eternal life. So Lord, would you help us to live today as people filled with your spirit, filled with the spirit of life, as people with life in all its fullness, even that eternal life, as we live lives of gratitude and thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.